Hey guys, this is Shadow Kirby 707, and welcome to Kirby's Dreamland 3. In the last part, we, I guess, um, met up with Nago's girlfriend? Sure, friend, I don't know, her cat, his cat friend, I don't know. And we fixed an angel's wings. So yeah, that was the last stage. And hiccup <laughs> in this part. Which I'm thinking this is the finale. If it's not, then well, yeah. But I'm pretty sure this is the finale. But anyways, in this part, we are going to fight the boss of Iceberg. Who sits on this tower, which looks like it has an eye on it. <laughs> but anyways, we are going to fight King DDD. And I really... Actually, I like Needle and um, Chew. It's actually rather okay with me. Oh my god! How dare you! Um, oh gosh. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna just do this. I think this will be rather useful. Okay, um, I don't know what you're gonna do, King DDD. I don't want you inhaling me. That would be pretty bad. Okay. Ah! Oh, gosh, you're gonna keep inhaling, are you? Oh, I can. No, I got too close. Okay, apparently that range is very. Ow. Very, um. Uh, come on, I didn't get time. King DDD, seriously, I didn't have time. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 okay. Just, just defeat him. All right. Not just phase one of King Didi. Now somehow King Didi is possessed. Yeah. King Didi is not acting like himself. He's actually possessed. And yeah, his stomach is a mouth apparently, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that there's something possessing him. Kind of dark for a Kirby game, don't you think? Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, it has eyes too. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that King D is possessed by some dark thing. Oh, jeez. And with that, we defeated King D. Simple as that. That was rather easy. Wow. And with that, we got all the heart stars of Iceberg. Yay! We will eliminate the evil in Iceberg. And that only took about two minutes. <laughs> wow. You know, my first time, I actually kind of... Uh, messed up in this fight a few times. But anyway, with all the hard stars we collected in this level, we eliminate the darkness and iceberg. Yes. Alright. Yay, Kirby's happy because he had to jump off of two. Alright. And we have a star here. Let's go, I guess, catch the star and see where it takes us. And with that, it takes us to the very last level. Yes, guys, we are not done yet. There is one more level we need to go through. Level six, which is Hyper Zone. Hyper Zone is a lot different compared to the other five levels that we've been through. And with this, we get some kind of, I don't know what the name of this rod is, the heart rod. I'm calling it the heart rod. But with this, we're met up with the final boss. Meet Dark Matter. If you guys recognize Dark Matter, yeah, he actually makes a return in Kirby 64. Yeah, he does. At least these guys, they make a return. Oh, jeez, I don't like this move either. But pretty much, he just got attack Dark Matter. And watch out for his lasers and his orange ball thingies. I don't know what you call them, but just... Ooh, okay. I'm, oh shoot, I forgot, I just realized that I'm on low health, I just realized that. Yeah, your health carries over to this fight, so you kind of have to be careful and watch your range. I didn't realize this guy has a range uh, with that laser attack, so I'm just going to stay right here where it's safe. I did not know that. I did not know that. I thought his laser would reach all the way to the end, but I guess it has a certain limit, so which is actually kind of good. Alright, so, jeez, um, yeah, um, don't bum into me, dark matter. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I just want to get away from that, uh, you have a good range, buddy, you have a good range. Um, yeah, you're gonna do that again, yep. Alright, unfortunately, I don't think I'll make it to the next phase. Yes, there is one more phase, actually, two more phases after this, ah, ah. Alright, so, with that, dark matter is defeated, but not quite yet. Because he does have another phase, which is zero. Yes, a giant eyeball, pretty much. Now this guy has a lot of health, and probably a little bit more powerful than Dark Matter, and 
Yeah, I got taken down. Unfortunately, when you do get defeated by zero, you have to start from the first phase all over again, which does kind of stink, but at least this phase is actually rather easy, but you just gotta watch out for his attack like that, because it does have a good range, and, oh god, I keep bumping into him. Oh, gee, I hate this move, I hate this move, I hate that move, I hate that laser move, I hate that move, it's my least favorite move, out of dark matter. Okay, okay, I think I'm safe right here, right here I think I'm safe. Alright, so you kind of have to keep your distance when he does this attack, because it does have a certain range, so you do really gotta be careful with that move. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna stay right up here, and I cannot reach him, unfortunately, which is fine. And yes, I'm just spamming this button because, oh, gee, oh, oh. okay, I thought you were gonna do a laser attack. I thought he was gonna do that, but no. Uh, Alright. Yeah, so pretty much he's just gotta watch out with his attack, like this one right here, because it does have a good range. As long as you stay away from him, you should be all good for the next phase, and hopefully the next phase I'll do rather okay. So yeah, um, yeah, after this we have Zero yet again, da da da. <laughs> so yeah, Zero, um, it's not Zero 2 from Kirby 64, this is the first Zero, and yeah, fortunately you can't destroy his dark matter, which is alright with me. Oh, shoot, you're still not blood. Okay, ready to eat for everyone, I suppose. I assume that is blood, which a lot of people will say it is, but I'll keep a hush about it, I suppose. I don't know, I think it's blood. I mean, just like in Kirby 64, Zero Two does bleed, so, because you're attacking his, I guess, his body, eye, whatever. I do like the song, though. I mean, it's not my favorite Final Boss song. Oh my god, I forgot he can do that. Oh shoot, we're kind of- oh shoot. Yeah, watch out for this move, too. Um, it's kind of similar to Zero Two's, um, he, there's one move that Zero, Zero Two does, which is similar to that, you just kind of have to dodge it. Alright, um, I'm afraid that- uh, I'm gonna dodge, 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 dodge. Alright, um, I'm afraid he's gonna charge at me, he's gonna charge at me, nope, nope, shoot, you're bleeding, you're bleeding, you're bleeding, ah! Um, uh, are you gonna charge at me? I don't know what he's gonna do. What are you gonna do, Zero? I don't know what you're gonna do. I can't really predict your movements. I think you're gonna charge, no, you're not. Okay. Oh, shoot! I will say, though, this background's kinda making me dizzy, just saying. Oh, crap, oh, shoot, I'm on my last health! Come on, Kirby, come on, Kirby, I'm on my last health. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait, no, 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 he has one more phase. Yep, he has one more phase. I totally forgot about this phase. Um, yeah, this phase, um, you really gotta be careful with this phase because he will try to go after you. All you gotta do is just, in a way, kind of dodge him, but also attack him at the same time. Just take your time, but also try to avoid him. Oh, my God. Zero I. I don't know what the last name of this phase is, but I call it Zero's Eye because, well, it's his eye. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> my last health, by the way, just saying. And if I get destroyed by this eye, that'll be a rather big disappointment. But we defeated Zero, or Dark Matter, and Zero. Woohoo! Yeah! And with that, we eliminated Zero and the Dark Matter, and Dreamland is saved once again. This was a rather short finale video, if I must say. <laughs> At least we have credits to make it longer. But anyways, we eliminated the darkness! And with that, it's destroyed, and Dreamland is shining bright once again. Such a pretty um, picture, or cutscene, it's really pretty. For a Super Nintendo game, it's really pretty. And with that, we have the... The credits of Kirby Julie, uh, Dreamland 3. Yeah, it's a rather short game, not as short as Kirby Dreamland 1 and 2, and I like that picture with Otto, by the way. But yeah, um, <laughs> I really like this, this game. It's probably my favorite Dreamland game out of the three. Yeah, Curry Dreamland 1 is short, Curry Dreamland 2 I don't really like. But this game I love. I never grew up playing with this game when I was a kid. Frankly, I did have a, a Super Nintendo, but I don't remember if, if I had this game or not. But when I first played this game, which is on the Curry Dream Collection, Oh man, I fell in love with this game. I love the art style, I love the music, and not to mention I love the Animal Friends. I wish they would brought, you know, Nago, Pitch, and Chew back, because they do kind of 
and, and also Rick, Ku, and Kine. I wish they brought them back more. So I, I really wish that in future Kirby games, I hope they bring uh, the Animal Friends again because I really do enjoy using them. They're so unique in their own way. And also, I really like the bosses, especially Otto. Otto is so cute. Even though he looks similar to Andalay and Kirby 64, but I love Otto and the bosses. The bosses are really unique as well. And I love how each stage has their own objective, which is very, very interesting. I don't think not I don't think there's any Kirby game that does that, like where you have to do a certain objective in order to help um, whatever you're helping in each stage, which is kind of neat. Kind of reminds me of Majora's Mask side quest. Pretty much, you help people and they give you something in return, which just kind of reminds me of that. And yes, I know that says Choo Choo, but, but I think her English translation name is just Choo. I don't know, something. I think it's just Choo, but I guess the Japanese translation is called Choo Choo, but yeah. But I really love this stage. It's actually one of my favorite Kirby games that I really do enjoy and I personally will go back to. But yeah, I really love Kirby Dream Land 3. It's such a cute game. I keep saying that throughout this project, but it's such a cute game. I recommend you guys, you know, go play this game whether you have it on your Wii Virtual Console, which by the way, it is on the Virtual Console, or Kirby Dream Collection, but you guys should really play this game. Oh my god, I love the art style. It's just so cute. Um, it's so adorable. It's so adorable. And there's a friend! So I guess they're not girlfriends, they're just friends. But they're so cute! Oh, they're so adorable. Everything in this game is adorable and I love the art style. And there's all the things that we helped in each stage. All the objectives. There's that angel that we helped in the previous episode. And there's Popstar. Yes, um, Dreamland is actually the name of a certain certain place in Popstar. Popstar is like planet Earth. Dreamland is kind of like a country in its own way, but yeah. Anyways, with that, that is the end of Kirby's Dreamland 3, guys. Unfortunately, those are not 100%, but that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to 100% this game. I only did 90 97%. In order to 100% this game, you have to do boss rush mode and the other modes in this game, but I am not going to do that. We're going to end it here as Otto painted the word end. So yeah, I'm going to end it off here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really did enjoy this game. And the credits, you know, they disappear if you stay there long enough. But yes, I really did enjoy this game, guys. And I guess I will see you guys in the next Let's Play, which I honestly need to practice for because, you know, this is a short game and I didn't practice. I need to practice for the next game, which I honestly don't know what to LP next. I kind of have two games in mind, but I think I know which game to LP, so I kind of do need to practice for that. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, as soon as you beat the game, you will be at 97% if you collected all the heart stars. So the other mode that we could do now is probably, um, yeah, boss rush mode, which it is actually kind of hard. Yeah. It is actually kind of hard. I tried it myself a few times and yeah, I just can't. I can't. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it at 97%. So technically that's 100% to me. So yeah. <laughs> but anyway guys, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a blast with this last play. Such a cute game. I cute gas up all over this game. Oh, I am so, so sad this is over because it's such a cute game. But in the meantime, while I'm preparing for my next Let's Play, I will give you guys plenty, plenty of Kirby Air Ride content. Yeah, <laughs> as, as soon as I get ready for my next Let's Play, because I am nowhere near ready for it. I haven't even drawn the icon for it yet, so I have... Ugh, I need lots of time to prepare for my next Let's Play, just saying, yeah. But anyways, guys, that is the end of Kirby Dream Land 3. And I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. See you guys then. Bye!